I can't believe that guy in the blue car. He was so rude. Well, you were in his lane. Was that a courtesy wave he was giving me? No, courtesy waves usually involve all five fingers, not just one. That's what I was afraid of. I'll be in my office. All right, I'll get that report for you. Excuse me. Oh, hello. Can I help you? I'm looking for Jason Hebert. I heard he hangs around here. Jason is off today, but he'll be back tomorrow. So, Jason works here? He sure does. I'm Bailey, his best friend. Best friend, huh? And I used to be his best friend. Did you want to leave a message? Yeah. You could tell him something for me. Tell him this old best friend, Mad Dog, came by to see him. Mad Dog? Yeah. He knows who I am. Oh. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Beetle. Whatever. Nice to meet you too, Bulldog. It's Mad Dog. Whatever. Hey, Bailey, you got that report yet? I'll be back. Me too. Did he say he used to be Jason's best friend? That's what he said, but I can't see Jason hanging out with somebody like that. Well, we really don't know a lot about Jason's past, do we? All we know is that he used to do a lot of drugs and he was in prison. And hung out with some shady people. And shady dogs too, apparently. Hey everybody! What are you doing here? I came back from vacation early because I missed you guys. Oh, that's nice. I never had friends like you two before. Speaking of friends, did you ever have a friend named Bulldog? Mad Dog. Whatever. Mad Dog? How do you know about Mad Dog? He came by here earlier looking for you. Mad Dog? Was here? He found out that you worked here. He said he was your best friend. He said he was coming back tomorrow. Who is he? Nobody. I gotta go. Jason, wait! Go where? Let him go, Bailey. Hey, Jason. Mad Dog! Did you miss me? What are you doing here? I got out on good behavior, just like you did. You can't be here. It violates my parole. But I believe you and I have some unfinished business to tend to. I don't do that business anymore. Oh, yeah? So now you're doing a uh, church business. I'm clean now, and I want to stay that way. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. But you uh, still ratted me out to the feds. No, I didn't. That was Chainsaw. He made a plea bargain with the police, and he ratted all of us out. You see, that's not what he said when I paid him a little visit yesterday. I didn't rat you out, honestly. I had too much to lose. So you didn't uh, make a little plea bargain of your own? No. Jason? 
is that Beetle, your friend from church? His name is Bailey. Whatever. Go away, Bailey! No! I'm your best friend, and you need a friend right now. Now let me inside! Go ahead. Let him in. Please don't. Open the door and let your friend come inside. Look, I'll do whatever you want, but don't hurt my friend. Open up, Jason. I'm not going anywhere until you let me in. Jason, what's wrong? Hello, Beetle. It's Bailey. Whatever. So, Jason, now that I have Beetle with us, maybe now you'll tell me the truth. It's Bailey. But you can call me Beetle. Beetle's just fine. Whatever you want. Shut up. Yes, sir. Whatever you say. Bailey! I'm sorry. I always get gassy when I'm scared. You have got to be kidding me right now. Oh no, I've always been like this. Every time I get scared or stressed out, I always pass gas. I can't help it. Shut up. Mad Dog, this doesn't concern Bailey. Let him go. I can't let him go right now. He'll call the police. No, I won't. I won't tell a single soul. Oh, yes, I will. I can't lie. How did you end up with a nerd like Beetle? Beetle's not a nerd. I mean, Bailey's not a nerd. He's cool. Bailey and the pastor are the best friends I've got. They were there for me when I was at my lowest. And they helped me to find a purpose in life and to be free from my addictions. How? They taught me that in spite of all of my sins, Jesus still loves me. I've discovered that Jesus can save and forgive even the worst of us, even you. So you think Jesus can save Bailey right now. He can. So if I decided to cut your friend up right here, right now, you're saying Jesus can save him? <laughs> Bailey, you're not helping things right now. I'm sorry, but he keeps scaring me. Shut up. I swear to God, if you do that one more time, I will slaughter you like a greased pig all over this apartment. That's it! Jesus, please help me! No! You're gonna have to kill me first! Clarice, this is Pastor Scott. Has Bailey made it home yet? Oh, hi, Pastor! Now I thought Bailey was at the church with you! No, he left a good while ago. He's not answering his cell phone. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? Knowing Bailey, he probably stopped on the way home for a donut. All right, if you see him, have him call me, please. Okay, I sure will. Well, Lord, neither Bailey nor Jason are answering their phones. I pray, God, that you give them strength and protection right now, wherever they are and whatever they're doing. I pray that you... Who are you? I'm not the same Jason that you knew before. You're willing to risk your life for this nerd? This nerd is my brother. Man, that church really brainwashed you, didn't they? The only person who washed my brain is Jesus, and it needed washing. This is heavy. I can't deal with this right now. I know how you feel when nothing makes sense and you don't know which way to turn anymore. That's exactly how I felt when I got out of jail. 
I had nobody. But God sent Bailey and the pastor into my life and gave me a second chance. And I know he can give you one too. You don't know me. I killed a man. So did I. You, you killed someone. My sins killed Jesus. He died for me. You know, I could kill you and your nerd friend right here. That doesn't scare you. I would just wake up in heaven and see Jesus. So no, I'm not afraid. What about your nerd friend? Bailey's not afraid to die either. <laughs> Sounds like fear to me. No, I'm not afraid to die. I'm just afraid of big knives. Lord, you are right. There's Bailey's car. Mad Dog must be holding him inside. Time to call 911. So you're not afraid to die. I already did. The old me died when I gave my life to Christ. I'm a new person now. So you mean to tell me that you don't still crave the dust or want to take one more hit off the old black olive? Olives? I like olives. Green olives, black olives. We love to go eat at the Olive Garden. Not that kind of olive, Bailey. What other kind of olive is there? Heroin. Heroin? Never mind. What do you say, Jason? One more hit for old time's sake. I told you, I'm a new person now. Man. When I came here today, I expected to find the old Jason, not some religious fanatic. It's not too late for you. And give up the olives. Sounds like this party is over. Now I'm gonna have to finish the two of you off. What's he me. doing? And you Pray him. I'll tell him to stop. Really I can't. Hey, Beetle, stop praying. Mad Dog. I said, stop it right now. Then I will shut you up. Let go. You're not laying a hand down him. Jesus, shine your light on him right now. Feel this. What's happening? Turn it off. Turn it off. Let me see, Lord, fill this room with your presence. Let me feel your presence right now, God. Let it sit your love in this place. Drop the knife! He has a knife! Chase. I'm here. Bailey, are you okay? I'm fine now. I knew there was something wrong when neither you nor Jason would answer your cell phones. Hey, Pastor. Jason, how you doing? I'm gonna be okay. Is he still alive? Yeah, they're bringing him to the hospital. They don't know if he's gonna make it or not. Pastor, I was praying for him, and suddenly there was this light everywhere. The man tried to kill you. 
and you prayed for him? I was praying for God to give him one more chance to repent. Well, so far he's still alive. So for now, he still has that chance. We need to keep him in our prayers, Pastor. We will. I'm proud of you, Bailey. I'm proud of both of you. I'm proud of Jason. He was the real hero in there. He saved my life. Pastor, you should have seen him. He was fearless. I knew God was with us. What about you, Bailey? Weren't you scared? Me? No. Mad Dog didn't scare me. Then wait till you meet my other friend from prison, Chainsaw. Bailey! I'm sorry. Maybe I was a little scared. Well, it's over now. Anyone hungry? I am. Me too. Great. I thought we would stop at the Olive Garden on the way home. My treat. Oh, never mind. I'll pass. Me too. I'm giving up olives. 